We are not going to bust the door down, guns blazing, and get into a deadly force situation. That's not going to happen. A charged up police chief says that's the challenge of going after a guy with several arrest warrants. He said that they've been trying to safely arrest that guy for six months, but while they were waiting, he did this to his neighbor. We first showed you that shocking shooting last night at 10. New video tonight shows this story is causing quite a stir at City Hall. That is a top cop clashing with a city council member behind closed doors. And as our Jason Rantelo reports tonight, the victim just wants something to be done about the danger next door. New video shows his neighbor dumping strange substances in his yard several times. Part of a harassment campaign that escalated to this. And less than 24 hours since we first showed you Davis Moturi getting shot right outside his home, a slew of new charges, including attempted murder, filed against next door neighbor John Sacek. Sacek now with three warrants out for his arrest. WCCO's coverage prompted a response from five Minneapolis City Council members Friday. A letter sent to both the mayor and police chief saying, quote, We are writing today in utter horror at MPD's failure to protect a Minneapolis resident, Police Chief Brian O'Hara. It's beyond disappointing. Um, you know, I did not receive one single phone call from an elected official asking for facts. During that impromptu press conference, the chief also said this. In addition, the situation escalated in part by actions that were precipitated by the victim. Moturi responding. He's a liar. He's, He's a nothing liar. O'Hara says they've been trying to safely arrest him since April, waiting for him to leave his home. So why don't they go into his house and arrest him? If we did go in with a SWAT team and wound up in a deadly force situation, the headlines would read, MPD shoots a mentally ill person. The police chief just came out and said he cares more about optics. Council member Andrea Jenkins followed O'Hara after the press conference. Please, sir, I sent you an email this morning at 8.30 about this situation, asking for facts. I have not, I heard from one You have my phone number, you can call me, you want to talk. So you don't respond to emails? We have to take violent criminals off the street. So I'm not a police officer. I don't know how that gets done, but I know it needs to get done. And Jason, I know that you talked to Davis in the hospital tonight. How is he doing? Well, he's still hanging in there. He's still not sure when he'll be able to leave the hospital. He's still dealing with bleeding in his lungs, and that bullet is, of course, still inside him. And once he's out of the hospital, he's not sure where he and his wife will go since, since they don't feel their home is safe because, of course, their neighbor is still there, Amelia. All right, Jason, thank you.